demonstrating an alternative to war, symbolic food, medicine and flowers for the people of Vietnam are brought to the Oakland Army base. Acts of civil disobedience, a nonviolent invasion of the supply depot, brings arrests. preparing for that ground war in Asia. Not everyone is preparing for that ground war in Asia. Protest picket lines and meetings occur each week all across our land. Student picketing of troop trains in the summer of 1965 was carried in newspaper headlines around the world. General Maxwell Taylor arrived in San Francisco to speak before a businessmen's club. He was handed leaflets calling him to account for the murder of the Vietnamese people. On October 15, 1965, at the Berkeley campus of the University of California, the Vietnam Day Committee held a mass rally to protest the United States war against Vietnam. In the evening, 14,000 students and people from the community marched from the campus toward the Oakland Army base. A wall of police stopped the marchers from entering the adjacent city of Oakland. Hundreds of police were on hand the next day to stop the marchers on their second attempt to hold a peaceful protest parade through Oakland. Ironically, the Berkeley police had to protect the marchers from an attack by a small gang of hooligans. Berkeley's international days of protest ended at the Oakland city limit. A month later, a parade was held through Oakland. The city officials tried to stop it, but the Berkeley Vietnam Day Committee appealed to a federal judge. Ten thousand people marched to Defermery Park. They weren't allowed to get any closer to the army base. 